I would meet with him when I had an idea of what I wanted to do. And I would sort of tell it to him. He was my test case. And then he would weigh in on it. And the funny thing about it is, is that um, this started by accident because he had made this comment when we knew there would be a second season and Don had had this incredibly wrenching moment, you know, leaving his family being left behind at Thanksgiving. Um, he's like, he's going to be good, but I think he's going to get bored. And I was like, oh, oh, that's a good story. I think you're right. So, you know, his, he, he really, really participated in um, season three in particular, where, I, where we, I had more time for whatever reason I had to spend time with him. Um, and we had dinner in the middle of the season. And that's when he told me that thing that I, I, I used um, when Betty is, is, is uh, really, really ending things of Don saying to her, like, this is all real. You know, maybe I lied to you about my name, but our kids are real. Our home is real. You wanted all this. What did I do wrong again? Never would have occurred to me. I get so much out of... Um, I feel very lucky that I got to learn so much uh, during the show. Just like about people, and then you just get to use it right away. John Hamm's understanding of Don is as third person as mine is. But we, you know, he's five years younger than me. And we are, I'm just slightly ahead of him in the life experience. <laughs> We've had very different life experiences, obviously, in many ways. But we both overhear things and both have thoughts about things. And it's really, when he likes it, it's the best thing in the world. And he always adds something. He always says that makes sense. He loved the fact, because um, we had two separate ones. I mean, I told him the whole season. And he knew the ending for a long time. He knew the very ending for a long time. I thought of the ending between, right around the time I did my last interview, actually. I pitched it to the network that it would end with Don on a bluff when I pitched the show to begin with. That it would end with him on a bluff in California at an ashram or something in the midst of, of some kind of meditation. The Coca-Cola ad part of it, um, it's so weird to say it out loud. <laughs> we had to keep it a secret for so long. That I told, that I thought of um, when I was, it came to me in the middle of the negotiation, actually. It was just something that, like, I was in my office. I was writing a play to sort of pass the time and not be focused on, on how negative it was. 